Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how you can create the perfect setup on your iOS 14 device. Now I have created here a setup and of course I will show you the step-by-step -step guide on how you can turn this into this by following the instructions that you will see in this video. All right, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and set up the wallpaper that I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. So this is a black wallpaper. You can see at the top there, it has that like more like gray space there where the widgets will be. And of course it matches the dark color. So you can see right here, let's go ahead and set this as a wallpaper. Now, when you go to use it as the wallpaper, just go ahead and zoom like this all the way out. Don't move it up and down, click set and click as home screen. Now at the top right there, we will place a widget. You can see this color right here will match the color of the dock. Now, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and tap right here. Go ahead and add the widget. Now, the first widget will be a widget called favorites. Go ahead and add that widget, which of course will be also linked right down below. Here we have the favorites widget. Go ahead and add the two by four widget. Tap on add widget right there. And now once we have created this page right here, now we can remove the first page which contains our app. So when you go to basically remove pages, you need to have one page in order to be able to remove the other one. So now that we have this one, we can go ahead and remove this. And now we have just one page. Now on this widget right here, you can place your favorite contact. Now what you need to do is go ahead, force touch on it, click edit widget, and here we'll have four contacts that you can choose. Just go ahead, click choose, and here we'll see a list of the contacts that you have favorited on the favorites app. Go ahead, tap on them just like this, and you will be able to have your four contacts right here. And of course, you also will be able to quickly call them from here. So you tap right there, and you will get the option to basically call them, but I have airplane mode on right now. The second step will be adding the custom icon. So go to Safari and go to this website that I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. Tap here on browse by themes and here we'll find a new theme that has recently been added. It is called dark theme iOS 14. Now what you need to do here is just scroll down, go to application icons. Now currently it only has 10 icons probably in the near future, it should be updated with more. So show quick actions there and tap to select all of them. Now what you can do here, this is of course based on your preferences. I prefer to remove the labels. So what you can do is just tap these X buttons right there and this will remove all the labels from these icons. So just like that, you can go ahead and tap generate theme and just wait for the pop-up, click allow and now you're good to go. Head on to the settings. Once you're on the settings app, just go ahead, tap on the profile that has been downloaded and click install. Click install once again, and I'll go to the home screen. Now, what I do here, I just use two rows of icons. So I have to remove two of them because you can see those two right here. So I remove Snapchat, I don't use it. And let's remove health as well. Of course, you can keep your favorite icons right here. And now let's move on to the next step, adding another widget here on the home screen. The next widget we're adding here is called battery plus. So you add the two by four widget and right here you can see this one is really, really cool. Let's just move it right here at the bottom. So what it does is that it shows you the percentage of battery, the percentage of the brightness, the RAM memory, as well as the storage of your iPhone. Now you can see this looks white right here, but what you need to do is just go ahead and enable dark mode and you can see how cool that looks. And now we have another page. So on the second page, what we will do is add like different information that we need to use daily. So basically weather and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and add a weather widget. So for this video, I will use this weather widget by Hey Weather. Now this one is really, really good. It adds a ton of information regarding the weather. Now you can also customize this if you just jump to the app, you can go ahead and basically tap on each of the widgets that you're using and you can, can customize its color like this. You have a few options that are free and some that are paid. So you can see right here how cool this looks. And now we are adding a calendar. So let's just go ahead, add that widget as well. 
Now I'm using this app called Dawn and the widget I'm adding here is the 4x4. It shows month right here is the 4x4. It will show you the next three months as well as the today's date. So I just go ahead and move it down here. And here we have this cool look. You can see how cool this looks. It blends in with the wallpaper and of course it does the same here for the icons and the battery widget. Now what I've done here on the left side where the widgets panel is, I have added four different widgets. So here are some very, very useful widgets. I have at the top the Google one, which allows me to quickly go ahead and search on Google here, go ahead and search using the camera, my voice, or the ignition mode. And then I have three different ones from, from an app called Usage. Now what we see here, or right there, the RAM memory and the storage. So basically it shows you information regarding your device, the free RAM memory, used memory, and right here we have the storage, free and used storage. And then right here we have another widget. This one is also from that app called Usage, and this one will show you basically your device information. The system version right there, the uptime, the name of the device, as well as the last reboot time. So you will have like, this panel right here with different useful information regarding your device. The first page right here, you have your favorite contacts, you have your custom icons right there, as well as different information regarding RAM memory, battery, and of course, the brightness of your device. Now, the last step here is to go, to go ahead and remove these icons from the dock. Now you can see right here on the first page, this is the one that we're focusing on. We have this green, widget right there at the top. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove these icons that are not green and we will basically go ahead and then just add green icons to this space right here. So let's just go ahead and place these on the right here on the app library and let's just find some green icons that we can go ahead and add there. So let's just do these. Now we're good to go. We can go ahead and add these to the dock. Of course, you can add as many as you want. And if you want to remove one, have just three or maybe even two, you can do that. So you can see now how cool this looks right here. These match and of course their background matches as well. And we have all black right there in the middle. So that's how you can create a perfect setup on your iOS 14 device. As easy as that, just go ahead and follow the instructions that you saw on this video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to recreate this, just follow the steps. All the links will be right down below in the description of the video. If you like this, let me know and I will create another one. And of course, show you how to create that step by step. So again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and we'll see you guys on the next one.